Now, it's an emotive subject. Trophy hunting is a very emotive subject. Many, many articles, many campaigns and many newspapers to get it stopped. The Conservatives did promise in the manifesto in 2019 that they would. Um, it went through the House of Commons. It got stuck in the House of Lords. Well, it's come back. And John Speller, Labour MP for Worley. John, you're putting back the same legislation, and that would mean that Brits who go abroad and, you know, shoot a zebra or whatever it may be would not be able to bring a trophy back. Um, put the case as to why this would be a good thing. Well, firstly, because it's clearly the overwhelming view of the British public. Government said that in their response to the consultation. And indeed, also were clear about this, as you rightly said, in their, in their manifesto. They were. No, they were. Went, through, went through Parliament, got stuck with uh, one or two people trying to talk it out in the House of Lords, ran out of time. Fortunately, I was able to get a slot for a bill, and I'm bringing it back. And the again, the overwhelming support is from the public. Now, just earlier, I was doing a program with uh, with with another channel, and you know, there in the background, there was pictures of giraffes walk, uh, walking around. The public cannot understand why someone would want to go out, shoot a giraffe, pose on top of its dead body and then bring its parts back. It's pretty disgusting. We don't really want it in this country. Well, OK, no, you put the case with passion. Now, the argument against, and there is a strong argument against, uh, says that actually trophy hunting doesn't threaten a single species in Africa. Poaching certainly does, and there are some terrible things. That, loss of habitat certainly does. I'm joined down the line by Professor Amy Dickman, Director of the Wildlife Conservation Research Unit. Now, Amy, whether you approve of trophy hunting itself, you do think that it can bring some benefits to Africa, don't you? Yes. I mean, I'm not a fan of trophy hunting. I've spent my entire career trying to reduce wildlife killing. But I strongly believe that this bill, as well-intentioned as it is, will actually lead to far more animals dying in horrible ways and will harm local livelihoods and will drive far greater threats to wildlife, such as you've mentioned habitat loss and poaching. And when we talk about, um, John Speller there mentions this sort of public opinion around the bill, I think that strongly comes because the public and politicians have been lied to on this topic. They've been told that trophy hunting is a threat to species. It isn't. It actually can help protect against far greater threats, as we talked about, such as habitat loss and poaching. And it's really important that we are led not by the evidence around this. These are horrible images, but around, sorry, not by the emotion around this. These are horrible mm. uh, images, but we are led by the actual evidence and the weight of scientific evidence, which is clear on this topic. Now, Botswana is a country, John, that feels very strongly about this, a country with a thriving wildlife population in Africa, which some don't have. And their government have responded by saying that they're going to send 10,000 elephants to London's Hyde Park so Brits can try living with them. And their argument is that trophy hunting and selective culling is necessary in areas that have got a big elephant population. So are they going to fly them back on planes that have gone to Rwanda or something? Well, I mean, that, well that's, that's not, a separate topic. Let's, but... let, 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 let's not get... You see, and I do slightly always um, have a question mark when people are told, well, the public don't know uh, what they're doing and they've been lied to and therefore that means well, they, they've what. been gullible okay. as politicians as well. You see, Kenya, for example, yep. is a country which has uh, very much restricted shooting mm. and as a result... They have a very thriving uh, population, but also they have a very thriving uh, safari industry of people who go there to shoot uh, animals with cameras, not with rifles well, and crossbows. Botswana has both. Botswana has mm. both. I mean, John, surely the thing, that we, the thing that would unite the public is what is best for the animals. And the argument made in African countries where, you know, a rich American or British businessman will go and pay $50,000, $100,000 to shoot whatever it is, uh, elephant, whatever it may be, the argument is that the revenue from that is what gives the rangers the ability, the money, the resources to stop poaching, which is what's really damaging. It's hard to say to the poachers, of course, you mustn't shoot these animals, but we'll allow these rich white people to, uh, to do so. Ah, but not, ah, but ah, not, hang on, hang on, hang on. That hang on, hang on, hang on, John, John, yeah. trophy hunters mm. are not indiscriminately killing. Trophy hunters are being told, right, that is an old elephant that's past breeding age, that's the one well, you can shoot. That's very questionable because you know... Michael Ashcroft, who's uh, not only run a campaign, but done a lot of research on issues, on um, a separate issue, but still the same within this, of canned hunting, 
where, yeah. uh, where lions in particular yeah. are specially bred to be shot in close quarters by, by people. That is appalling. And I'm sure we wouldn't want people to be bringing those trophies back. But there is another point you mentioned about the particular, say, the large elephants. Yeah. Elephants have a social structure. They, uh, they have a gene pool. And if you're taking the really big, large elephants with the big tusks and you're shooting, shooting them, you are disrupting also the, the gene pool. And, well. it, and, and there does seem to be some evidence, and I accept that this has to be fully tested, that now elephants are, are now developing, or not developing, but those with smaller tusks are the ones surviving. So we're actually changing the nature of the species and not in a I good did, way. I, we I, also did, know I that, did caveat that. We also know that, for example, with Cecil the lion, shot, yeah. uh, and this is what really kicked it off with the public. I remember. Shot with a crossbow, took a long period to, uh, to, to die, but there was real disruption to that pride, pride of lions. Um, and that really uh, damages the I, John, I, as well. I did caveat it by saying you take out an elephant that was past breeding yeah. age. So I did caveat mm. that quite carefully. Look, I think wildlife management is what we all care about above everything. Mm. I'm not sure that this bill will make people feel good about themselves. Whether it helps Africa, it's a hot topic debate. And thank mm. you for coming in and putting your side of the argument with such passion. And the public side of the argument. Well... The public are very strongly I, I, behind I, this. I, as I say, the point is what the public want to see is thriving wildlife in Africa. And yeah. whatever, was, whatever was best. But, but yes, it's a minority. But it's they, a minority sport. They, and there are all sorts of minority sports there the are, public would but ban. We, but we did you know? away with bull, with bull baiting. We, we did, did away with bear baiting. We, we, uh, yeah, I know. We'll all, we'll all finish up vegan. No, we're doing all of those. <laughs> we will all finish up the vegan. public mood changed because we accepted that these yeah. were things from the past and they were barbarous things from the past. This is going to happen to trophy hunting, hunting I, as well. I, I hope my bill will be a small step I, on that way. I would be surprised if under Labour we don't ban pheasant shooting and all sorts of things. And I think this whole debate this is, is, is going to go is, on. This unites the parties. <laughs> and if someone on the right of the Tory party, like Michael Ashcroft, can be in the same camp no, on no, this... No, 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 I understand that. This is, I this get is that. an area that I get unites that. the party. I get that. I don't support it. I don't think it helps. But I get the passion.